Hi everyone. This is Dr. Chukka Shantaya, Associate Professor of the Computer Science and Engineering in Institute of Aeronautical Engineering, Hyderabad. Today's station, we discuss about the decision tree representation. In previous class, we discuss what is the meaning of the decision tree as well as what are the main key object keywords are there in the object uh, in the decision tree and what the processor is there to decision tree. So in this class, in this session, we discuss decision tree representation. In previous session, what is the definition of the decision tree you can learn? The decision tree represent the decision tree is decision tree learning is nothing but a, we try to make some learn something based on some inputs that is about the attribute values or conditions. From there, we will try to construct a tree. That tree becomes a decision learning tree. Means we try to learn something and try to represent that learning in the tree format. That is meaning about the decision tree learning. In this session, decision tree representation we discuss. For example, we try to represent anything based on the various different ways. In case we take some image processing or image. In this image processing, how image can be represented? So, in image processing, it is f of x is equal to some two-dimensional intensity function. Means, about the, it is represented, for example, f of x comma y in image processing. x comma y is the coordinates or light intensity functions or it may be some representation about the image whereas f is a amplitude or maybe it is a significance about the image this is some coordinates so like that how we can represent a decision tree in decision tree learning algorithm in the subject of machine learning decision tree class wise instance by shorting them down to the down the tree from root node to some leaf nodes, which provides the classification of instants. Means the decision tree is class wise instanting, sorting them, means from the down to the tree, starting from the root node to the leaf node. For example, we can take some small representation about the decision tree, starting from the sorting one by one downwards, means for example, it is a root node. Then we can start here the left child as well as right child. The left child again here has some leaf nodes that is about the left child as well as right child. Here also left child as well as right child. Means we can start down to the tree from the root node to the leaf nodes whereas this one is a root node as well as these are all the leaf nodes of the tree representation. Means we are starting from the root about the it is root node of the tree and these uh, least nodes means the last node it is called leaf nodes means we can represent again you can have in more one more instance on representation again we go to the like this one is another leaf node for this this one is another leaf node as well as this one is another leaf node as well as this one is another leaf node and this one is another leaf node. Means we are starting with the root node and down towards down means about the leaf node which provides the classification of the instance. Means which provides the classification of instance. For example, it is instant. It provides some classification. Means for example, it is yes, it is no. Means we can give some clarification there itself. That is thing about that. 
about the description about the tree representation. Yes. Each node in the tree specifies the test of some attribute of the instances. Means each node, whereas come to this, for example, for example, this same example, this one is node, this one is node, as well as this one is another node, this one is left, this one is left, and this one is right. Means each node specifies the test of attributes of the instance. Means each node. Means each node is represents specifies the test of some attribute of the instance. And each branch descending from the node corresponds to the possible values of this attribute. Means it is a branch. Means it is a there are some possible branches. Means about these are the branches. These are the branches. Means each node in the tree specifies a set of some attributes of the instance. And each and each branch descending from the node correspond to the one of the possible values for this attribute value. As well as an instance is classified, means for example, an instance is classified by stating that at the root node of the tree, means an instance is there, deciding from the root node, testing the attribute specified by this node, then moving down to the each branch, tree branch corresponding to the values of the attribute in the given example. Means for instance of classified by starting from the starting from the at the root node, therefore this one is root node of the tree, testing attributes means specified by this node, this about the, we have some all values, all attributes values, input values, all input values, some attribute values, then it is specified by the in this node, then moving downwards means you can, then we can moving downwards to the tree branches, means these are branches under corresponding by the value of attribute by the given example, means final value, this about the yes or no, so based on some instance. This process is then repeated for the subroot to the new node. Means in case any new node is generated based on the attribute values are given examples. Again, we can try again to can build the once again go to the root node we generate the new node or add the new node or maybe new leaf node to the representation. Right. When you observe this one, it is, exa it is an example about the tree, uh, decision tree representation. We we'll take some more the Outlook is, is a root node. Whereas come to the humidity is a left node. Left node as well as wind is the left node. Right node. Means here outlook is a root node. Means it is called root node. Means about the root. Root node. As well as this one is called some the leaf nodes about the outlook. Means sub nodes. This one is sub node RMB. Decision nodes. So these branches show about some instances about the some values as well as this sub node is decision node has some attribute by some values. It is about the I as well as uh, I as well as normal and sub sequences resolution means about the outcomes. Here also right side also means some wind is there as well as some instances there based on the instance we can put some output about the leaf nodes. As per the decision tree, decision tree learning, this outlook is a root node as well as this humidity as well as wind is a decision nodes. Before we can make any decision, some conditions are there. Based on the conditions, we give the output of the decision node. Here, we take some outlook, outlook. We try to outlook whatever outside of the right. And then we can finalize some solution based on these two conditions about the humidity as well as wind. Right. A decision tree for concept playing at tennis means play at tennis. An example is classified by sorting the it through the tree appropriate leaf nodes. Then it is the classification of associated with these leaf nodes in case yes or no. This tree classifies sort in the mornings according to the weather condition or not they are suitable for the playing at tennis. Means in this example, now we try to play tennis based on the weather conditions, outlook conditions. So we make some decision. We try to play the game or not. Means we try to play the game, yes or no. 
only boolean operations means we have to only two options from there we try to conclude it means first we can go to outlook what the weather condition is there that weather condition is defined based on the some parameters about the humidity sunny rainy forecast as well as from sunny humidity as well as rain from rain wind as well as based on that wind as well as based on the humidity and wind we can take some decision right now <coughs> means whereas come to the this one is this figure represents output of the nodes means about the root node as well as decision node from there it is leaf nodes means about the make output of the decision nodes right we can take the outlook for the this one first we can okay we are mainly concerned about the either maybe sunny day or maybe rainy day two conditions or uh, means forecast means overcast means there is no any problem so we try to directly go to the play game means a yes, option means about the yes in case we try to check the weather condition from the from the weather conditions we take some or the instant the about the sunny as well as one instant as well as rain is another instant means we take sunny from there we can take the about the humidity value of the temperature whereas well as rainy means rain i can make it about the humidity about one more one more output value that's about the wind from there again we can apply some conditions means from the humidity two conditions are there either may be high as well as normal whereas wind is also strong as well as weak based on these two conditions the decision tree decision node conditions we are finalized we can play the game we are play the game or not means we can play the game or not either maybe either conditions again here also here we can take about the we are play the game or we not means here mainly focused on the two attributes especially means two decisions we can before we start the game and we can start the game based on some weather conditions first one is talking about the weather conditions based on the sunny as well as rainy from there from sunny we can take the condition check the condition this is about the humidity from the rain condition we can check the wind means from there wind conditions humidity humidity is very high so automatically there is no chance for the play game means output is no as well as humidity is normal means uh, means humidity is well normal mode in normal condition so there is a chance to play the game means about the yes again we are come to the wind option means about the another wind decision node from there the wind is strong but because the wind is wind wind power is very high so automatically there is no chance for to play the tennis in case the wind power is weak means about the this one is weak so there is a chance for to play the game so in this example mainly we discuss we try to play the game or not based on that some instances there are some decision nodes whereas come to the first one is outlook is a decision node sorry sorry outlook is a root node as well as from there sunny uh, humidity as well as wind node is a decision nodes and either may be yes or no is a leaf nodes so based on this we can finalize it we can check it we can play the game or not means when you observe this figure automatically there some representation about the easy representation about the we are play the game or not we can play the tennis or not even though we may be support for even though a layman can be understand observe this figure is understanding may somewhat he has some idea minimum awareness about this picture when you observe this figure automatically the final result will be displayed without knowing about it, without any analysis or without any observations why because we can make a some representation why because we are take some representation especially in decision tree learning algorithms based on this representations we try to understanding about the output about the or maybe decision about the any complex problems or many complex issues in
machine learning approach. Right. This decently classifies sort in the morning according to the weather condition, whether they are suitable for the playing a tennis game or not. Based on this instance, means that for example, some instances are there. Outlook. Means let us come to the outlook is sunny. As well as temperature is hot. Humidity is high. As well as wind is strong. Means where has come to these three in all instances we support the outlook is one instant, as well as temperature is another instance, as well as humidity is another instant, as well as wind is another instance. From that outlook is some output is there, that is about the sunny. As well as temperature is very high. As well as humidity is very high. As well as wind is strong. So based on this conditions automatically we are unable to play the tennis. Why? Because outlook is very sunny, very high temperature. Very high means very sunny. As well as temperature is very hot. As well as humidity is also very high. Wind is also very strong. So, would be started down the leftmost branches of the decision tree. Means about the leftmost decision tree. About this one especially. Means we come to the outlook is sunny as well as humidity high as well as means about the <coughs> these conditions means automatically we can go to the decision is strong means when I observe this figure whenever you can observe this figure means outlook is somewhat the outlook is sunny as well as it is undi means we are moved towards the left side only as well as here also left side only so outlook is sunny it is outlook is sunny as well as temperature is high. Means temperature is hot. Humidity is high. Means temperature is strong. High. Right. Humidity is high as well as wind is strong. So, when you observe this one, automatically we can get it. So, would be the started down from the leftmost branch of this decision tree and would therefore be classified as a negative instance. Therefore, that we predicts that playing in tennis is no, it's not possible. Means, based on these simple representations, we are make some conclusion, make, you can make some decision. We try to play a game or not. Based on these conditions. Right. In general, decision trees represents a distinction of conjunctions of constraints on the attribute of uh, attribute values of the instance. Means the decision tree represents distinction of conjunctions of constraints about attribute value instances. Means finally the decision is represents based on the distinction of conjunctions of constraints means about some conditions on that attribute values of the instances. When I observe this one, it is example about that. We have some attributes as well as some instances. And then we can go to the means. Why? Because we can take means it is represents the distinction of conjunctions of constraints on attribute values of the instances. Right. Each path from the root node of the root node to leaf node corresponds to a conjunction of attributes. And the tree itself is a distinction of these conjunctions. So, for example, the decision tree is shown in the corresponding to the expression. Outlook is sunny and humidity as well as normal. Means outlook is sunny, comma, humidity is equal to nor, normal as well as R. Means some of the conjunction. Means R conjunction. Outlook is overcast as well as outlook is rainy, comma, wind. Wind is weak. Here is not EMA. Small correction here is comma as well as here is comma. So, based on these conjunctions, as well as we can make some decision. Means about the conjunction, means about here is, here is some more symbol, ma is and conjunction, right? So, like this, next. In this T representation, basically, have some. Distinction according to the distinction of conjunctions, constraints based on the attributes and its 
values. Based on that, we can finalize the representation about the conjunction. Decision tree. Means finally, the decision tree represents based on starting from the root node and then decision nodes as well as leaf nodes. Whereas come to the root node is mainly constant about the attributes, all set of the all attribute values, as well as features of the attribute values. From there, we can divide into attributes into some instances from the either the left side as well as right side. Some we can classify it one by one. And then we try to make you make some decision based on some decisions and some based on conditions or some rules. That is the thing about that. Next, appropriate problems for decision tree learning. What are the various appropriate problems are there for decision tree learning approaches? Means, although a variety of decision tree learning methods have been developed with somewhat differing capabilities and requirements, means we can make some, we can try to decision tree learning algorithms methods have been developed somewhat differing capabilities as some requirements. Based on some capabilities means about some conditions and requirements, we try to build some decision trees. So, decision tree learning is generally best suited for the problems with the following characteristics. Means, we try to classify, we try to, we try to decision tree, classify the some problems. Based on the decision tree learning is generally best suited for the problems with the following characteristics. Means, the decision tree has some problem from characteristics when you try to build a decision tree learning algorithms. Right. First one, instances are represented by attribute value pairs. Means, in this decision tree learning algorithm or representation, Instance are represented by attribute as well as pairs, attribute value pairs. Means, for example, take some over the attribute value and then we take it to some definition. Means about its value also. About for example, we can take some over the attribute value. Means, for example, here is humidity is attribute as well as here attribute value. The attribute value is high. Means, like that, <coughs> in this, Instances are described by a fixed by a fixed set of attributes. Means in this decision tree learning, instances are fixed by a set of attributes. For example, temperature is a instance. And then attribute value is called heart. Means here instances are represented by the attribute value pairs. Means in this decision tree that Instance is represented by some attribute instant name that is about the instant instance attribute and it value means it has some value pairs means value that is about the value pay means for example here takes about the temperature is a some instance in this or example temperature is a one instance. That paid value is the means the resultant value is called high or maybe it is temperature is very hot. That is meaning about the decision tree is instance represented by the attribute pay values. Means first we have represented some instance in that decision tree automatically have some pay values also about the instance value also. Right. The easiest situation for the decision tree learning is given when each attribute taken a small number of disjunct, disjunct possible values. That is about the hot, mild, as well as cold. Where has come to the temperature. Means we have some similarity, but sometimes it is also dissimilarity also. Each one is each one each attribute value is independent. Whereas come to the hot is separate as well as mild is separate as well as cold is separate. As well as they have their own specific values also. Means instances are represented by the attribute value pairs. Means in decision tree representation, we make we can try to try to represent any instant. It must have some instant uh, instance attribute as well as its value. Means in an uh, instant name as well as some its resultant value. That is the first character about the decision tree learning. Next one, 
the target function has discrete output values ye tar the target function has discrete output value means discrete means specific we try to finalize means make some decision either may be yes or no or may be either true or false or either may be positive or negative whereas come to the decision tree representation we can observe this one also whereas come to the this immunity whereas come to the sunny auto finally it is either no or yes means some discrete value finalized there is no expansion there is no any continuous way because it is finalized we that is think about the this one means the target function has discrete output values so the decision tree assigns a boolean classification example about the yes or no means two things only two objectives either may be yes or no means true or false or positive or negative resultant will be positive or negative or you accept yes or no like that to each example means that decision tree assigns a boolean classification either may be yes or no to for each example we can observe this one also here itself we has come to the we can take some more the s or means about this one is example is there either may be no or may be yes here also take some more the either no or may be yes so like that we can have some instance values either may be l s or no so the decision tree methods easily extend to learning functions with more than two possible output values a more substantial expression allows learning target function with real value outputs though the application of decision trees in this settings is less common means we are come to the especially decision tree methods easily extend to learning functions with more than two possible output values sometimes it may be extension it may go to further further leaf node for the construction adding the new nodes or maybe give some solutions and then a more substantial extension allows learning sub target function with real value outputs means it has some instances means about the excess values from the target functions with the real value outputs the application of decision tree learning in decision tree in this setting is less common next next character about the decision tree representation distinctive description may be required whereas come to the previous one about the representation it is a distinction of conjunctions of constraints on the attribute values of the instance these are the representations means that is the meaning of it means as noted above decision tree naturally represents the distinction expressions here itself ma this one the symbol is not a ma the symbol is and means about the the symbol is so it represents the as noted above decision tree naturally represents distinctive expressions we can observe this about previous example also next next one is fourth characteristic about the decision trees a training data may contain errors means sometimes this characteristic is applicable for the all areas about the computer science and engineering why because in each and every training data sets have some problems why because we can do some training data sets training means we are not getting the some accurate but some inputs have some errors also so like that the means the training data may contain some errors also it is acceptable why because we can make any prediction sometimes some input values sometimes some training values may be have some wrong values or may be wrong values or may be some errors also so decision tree learning methods are robust to errors why because we are collect the differences of the databases or data sets so automatically we try to there is chance for the errors also both errors in the classification of the training examples and errors in the attribute values that describes the these examples means errors may be have some training examples classification training examples as well as attributes of the describe the values also means the errors may be a common in the decision tree learning algorithm either may be training examples or either may be attribute values also 
why because it has some means because it is accepted for the various decision making but it may be go to the especially in decision tree algorithm have decision tree learning algorithm have some problems or some errors why because we are collecting the some databases from there itself databases sometimes maybe we can accept the some errors also based on its requirement or based on its like right. final characteristics about the decision the training data may contain missing attribute values also sometimes they are some missing attribute values also means decision tree methods can be used can be used even where some training examples have been unknown values means sometimes the immunity day is unknown or only some training examples means how some missing values also attribute values also means the decision tree methods can be viewed can be used even then even when some training examples have been unknown values sometimes in this previous example as some immunity is there but immunity sometimes is not predictable as well as you are not mentioning here is also means how much immunity is there as some high immunity as well as how much immunity as some low normal condition is about the normal immunity sometimes it is also missing values also why because automatically the training data may be contains some training missing values also means the decision tree can be viewed can be used even when some training examples have been unknown values example about the immunity of the day is known for only some of the training examples it support the only up to some training examples only right many practical problems have been found to fit these characteristics means maximum many practical problems are have been found these characteristics in this five characteristics first one is instance as represented by the attribute pay, value pairs means it has some attribute as well as its attribute value also next the target function has the discrete output values means about the some discrete output exact output say there is or no means classified and distinction description may be required why because decision tree representation almost so easy can the distinction uh, descriptions must be required third characteristic and fourth one is the training data may contain the errors means the training data may have some errors also because training data have some it is accept the some errors in the point of the training examples classification of the training examples as well as attribute values also and final one is the training data may contain the missing attribute values also means sometimes it is also have some attribute values right decision tree learning has therefore been applied to, to problems such as the learning to classify medical patients by their disease equipment mal functions by their cause and loan applicants by the likelihood for defaulting on payments means the decision tree has some more applications in different areas means example about the patients means class for the medical patients by their disease means based on decision uh, patient decisions patient diseases we try to is some x parameters means some x for example some x payment x x patients are belong to some specific device or some x patients may be some y uh, patients are belong to this some other disease for example nowadays we can uh, the situations are very high very severely the people are affected by the covid in this covid we have some other different variation is there about the omicron means first we can collect the some samples from the, uh, the affected people so that is about the uh, doubted peoples from them we are collecting some samples we are conduct some medical diagnosis means to make some testing process from the testing process we are finally like, finding some result based on the resultant based on the results we are classified means means some ex peoples are affected by the covid 19 means about coronavirus as well as some why why people are affected by the omicron variant about the current corona means based on the disease we are classified easily why because its properties are its, its symptoms next equipment mal functions by their cause means we can find out some mal function about the equipment also based on some reasons are based on that resultants also next and loan applicants by their likelihood of defaulting on payments also means based on the borrowers payments 
or maybe try record about the borrowers. We try to get the output also. Means based on that, we try to classify it. defaulters as well as regular, regular borrowers. So like that, we can go to the example about the decision tree learning algorithm. Means first one is classify the decision means about decision peoples. Second one is find some malfunctions from the equipment. Third one is classify the defaulters as well as uh, means of, uh, normal payments are normal borrowers. Next, such problems in this which this class classify examples into the discrete set of possible categories are often referred to as classification problems. Means these type of the problems is called classification problems. Why? Because we are mainly concentrated on those issues. Means we defined, classified one by one based on its analysis or based on this assumptions. Means whenever we can observe this one about this decision, um, disease classification, malfunctioning the equipments, or defaulted by the track record. So based on that, we will be classified about the various issues. So like that, we are classified the problem. Means especially the classification, the decision tree is mainly play. It comes from the classification problems about the under supervised learning. Best example of the classification problem is especially filtering, spam filter as well as original messages. That is thing about that. Next. The basic relearning algorithm. <coughs> Means what are the basics are there about the decision tree learning algorithm. Most algorithms that have been developed for learning decision trees are variation on the core algorithms that employs the top down greedy search through the space of possible decision trees. Means we are mainly concentrated on you can learn the, learn the some decision tree especially in various examples. We can go to the main example about the decision tree learning algorithm. Top down approach. It is from this top down because we are starting from the root node. Then we are going to the one by one, one by one. Means about the depth. Means some decision. Next. This approach is explained in the ID3 algorithm and it is sensor success. Which from the primary focus on our discussion here. Means we discuss the decision tree learning algorithm that is about the ID3. Next we discuss about the Algorithm with example in ID3 examples, right? Our basic, <coughs> our basic algorithm ID3 learning algorithms learns decision tree by constructing them top down, beginning with the question which attribute should be tested for the root node of the root of the tree. Means we are starting from the top down. There is a we are defined which which node is the root node of the tree or not? Means which the attribute is the root node of the example. The answer to this question is each instance attribute is evaluated using a statistical test to determine how will how will it is alone classify the training examples. Means we try to finding evaluate the attributes values. From there we try to explain it. Right. The best attribute is selected and used as the best classified means as a test of root node of the tree means the best attribute is selected and used as a test for the root node of the tree means we are select the best attribute value it is it is a root node of the tree and a descent of the root node is then created for each possible value of this attribute means the descent of the root node is created for each possible values of this attribute and the training examples are sorted to the appropriate decent nodes which about the root node down to the branch corresponding the examples about this attribute value. The descent of the root node is nothing but a basic means starting node of the root node. And it is starting from the initial then we are going to the top down. The entire process is then repeated using the training examples associated with the with each descent node to select the best attribute, attribute to the test at the point of the Tree. Means we are select the best attribute value based on some training examples. From there we can start it. Next, finally, 
which attribute is the best classifier means which attribute is the best classifier the central choice of the id3 means id3 algorithm is selecting which attribute is the test at each node in the tree means we are select the which node is the highest value best node and then we would like to select the attribute that is most useful for the classifying the examples basically some examples once we are finalized the best attribute value from there we can easily try to easy it is easy to class with the what the attributes are good for the left side as well as right side of the tree representation right what is a good quantitative measure for measure of the worth of an attribute we will define statistical property called information gain in the previous session i can give i can say how we can select the best attribute value based on the by calculating some information gain about the tiny examples from there we can generate the at best attribute value means we will define the statistical property called information gain that measures the how well a given attribute suppress the training examples according to the the target classification right id3 uses this information gain measure the select among the candidate attributes at each step while growing the tree means whenever we can select the best attribute value based on the information gain statistical analysis from there we are select the construct the root node means we are easy to construct the tree node so whenever we discuss this attribute best attribute value means from this best attribute value is nothing but a key node of the key point of the or main important point of the decision tree whenever we are select the best attribute value from the resources that is available in the resources means available in the examples from there we are select the best attribute value means how we can select the best attribute value is based on some information gain means whenever the information gain is retired one more parameter is there there is about the entropy and gini index from these two statistical one more research two, two original statistical analysis to finding the best but best attribute value based on the information gain then we can finalize the information which one has the highest information gain it become as a sum of the root node or maybe best attribute value or maybe decision of the current root node decision of the decision tree that is the note up to now we discuss about the what are the decision tree the representation how it is represents right means the decision tree is especially have some starting from the root node that is about the outlook as well as some sub nodes whereas come to this one is root node is comes onto the one example as well as sub nodes left side is some sub nodes as well as and the right side is the and the sub node from there where is come to the decision tree learning algorithm the decision tree basics it is a root node it is about the root node means about it is called a root node this about the it is called root node means about the root node whereas these two nodes that is about immunity as well as wind is called decision nodes means decision nodes from there he these nodes is called leaf nodes about the decision tree and then we can discuss about it you can know, easily find out the how we can find the sum and decision finalize the decision based on these inputs and what are the inputs are there as well as how we can finally means some more, more best main thing about this representation is the decision tree is represents conjunction the distinction of the conjunctions of constraints on the attribute values of the instances based on that we are discussing and we are going to some uh, characteristics about the decision tree learning algorithm first one is instances are dependent by the attribute as well as value pairs and second one is the target function has discrete output values means about the it is it has some attribute is there as well as some its attribute values there as well as discrete output values in the target function have the target function means leaf nodes some target function has some discrete values means about the it is justified either may be yes or no and distinction distinct descriptions may be required especially in the decision tree learning representation why because here is also we are showing like this distinctions also is required in the decision tree representation and the training data may contain the some errors also means the training data has some errors because whenever discuss about some training data sets 
automatically we are recovering all types of the data sets from that data sets we have some errors also why because the decision may be sometimes takes some based on the various things but sometimes it is also have some errors also why because we are collecting the heavy number of data why because whereas one more principle is there about this decision machine learning we have given some more input data more data we can the more accuracy so when you add some more data bases automatically it has some training data sets training data sets has some errors also why because that training data sets errors may be in the training examples classification of the training examples or maybe attribute values also sometimes make some more the attribute values also errors also sometimes yes the training data may contain the missing attribute values sometimes the training data has attributes have some missing values also why because of the based on the some discuss based on some data values some attributes sometimes it is not possible to provide the exact information about the some attribute values and then we discuss about the basic learning tree algorithm in this basic decision tree learning algorithm mainly discuss about the id3 algorithm means what are the meaning of id3 what are the basic procedure is there in this id3 algorithm we discuss one by one and then last concept we discuss about the classification means best classifier here best classifier is nothing but which attribute is the best attribute for the entire decision tree construction or entire decision tree representation means based on these issues it may be classified or it may be defined from the best classifier from the decision node from this best attribute value if you can easy to start the construction about the or representation about the decision tree so up to now we discuss all those things but whenever we try to select the best attribute value or best classify we require some or one more statistical parameter that is about the information gain means about this one is information gain based on this information gain we try to classify it which we means we are selected we are five we are finally the best attribute value as well as best the best attribute value or best classifier how we can classify the how we can find the information gain one more two attribute two parameters are there especially about the we try to find the information gain we required entropy as well as gini index from there we are select we are finding some information gain finally which attribute value is the high information gain from that means from that attribute become as a decent or from that attribute value become as a best attribute value or we decent means of the root node of the decent tree representation yes this up to discuss about the decent tree representation in this class now so finally i can try to conclude it first one is what are the meaning about the decent tree how it is represents as well as what are the basic things are there in the uh, decision tree representation as for the decision tree basics first year some root node decision nodes as well as leaf nodes when you discuss about the here is outlook is root node as well as immediate as well as when is decision nodes final output is there is about the yes or no it is a leaf nodes and then we discuss about some distinction especially the attribute the decision tree representation mainly based on the distinction of conjunction of attribute values training attribute values and its instances so then what are the various appropriate problems are there in decision learning tree nearly five problems are there five characteristics are there means first one is instances are represented by the attribute as well as value pairs second one is the target function as discrete attribute values third one is distinction description may be required in the decision tree representation and the training data may be contain some errors also and final one is the decision the training data may contain the missing some attribute values and the basics about the decision tree learning algorithm in this especially decision tree learning algorithm we are mainly discuss about the id3 in the problem session we discuss about the id3 algorithm with example also how it is discuss how it is works for the various applications and then it can use the some various applications so finally we can select the best attribute value based on some information gain whereas come to the decision tree representation mainly applicable in various applications that is about the class where the decisions of people decision decisions and second one is finding some all functions in the machines by some reasons and we can classify the defaulter servers regular regular payments about the borrowers not only this application especially in the 
Machine learning is a play a major role in classification, especially email system. Whenever, whenever you observe this one, email, whenever you can open the email, automatically it is classified. Primary arm inbox, as well as some spam folder is there. Means, whenever based on some receiving some mails, which one is personally or which one is spam? Which one is some of the spam mails? So, without involvement of yourself, it is classified. That is a real time example about the classification problem. Means whenever you can reach the mail, the email, reach the mails from the various resources. Before we can move to the either maybe inbox or in the spam, first you can text, you can check the uh, which means source of the incoming mail. Either maybe personally or may some advertisement purpose. So it is a personally automatic move to the some inbox. Or uh, sometimes it may be a somewhat a spam or maybe somewhat advertisement purpose, purpose or maybe advertise, advertisement regarding it is automatic go to the spam filter. Spamming means that is thing about the classification problems in history. Finally, the decision tree is especially play a major role in various decision, complex decisions and it is mainly comes under supervised learning and classification issues. So, in this decision tree mainly supports the various complex issues in the complex decision making. Whereas make some any decision in the decision tree learning algorithm, first we require some conditions, some attribute values. From there we apply some conditions. From their conditions we are decision finalized decision, either we yes or no. So finally, based on the decision tree representation, we conclude it. The resulted output is comes automatically. Means get some output, discrete output, means either maybe yes or no. Means whenever we can make some, we are collect some databases. From the databases, we are finalize the decision. Either yes or no or positive or negative or maybe true or false. That is the main advantage about the decision tree representation. Thank you, Ma. Thank you, Anand. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.